Well, we first started working with Ed Puzzle last year, and we saw the, the flexibility as far as being able to put questions inside the video and it giving the teacher immediate feedback on you know, the answer that the student chose. So when we started doing the podcast, we saw that that was gonna be a valuable resource for us as well, making sure that as the students were going through the material, were they grasping the concepts that we were trying to present? And Edpuzzle was the, the best app that we could find that was linking immediate feedback from the student to us um, through the computer. Right, and also um, Edpuzzle, has the feature where you can track student response so you can actually track their progress throughout the video and also it'll tell you when the last time they viewed the video whether it was a few minutes ago or whether it was a day ago and then it also allows you to uh, to know when they are finished with the notes well you know when we started to roll this out this year um, me and Mr. Wilson sat down and said, you know what, we're going we're gonna to put this in the hands of the student and ask them which would they prefer. So, you know, we did a traditional lecture in front of the class, and then we made a podcast and presented it to them, and we asked their feedback. Um, you know, which, which one did you like more? And it was unanimous. Every one of the students enjoyed the, the podcast better, and one of the reasons was it's on the computer. So that, that makes it cool, you know, it makes them um, more engaging for them because they're able to control their learning. They're able to go in and, and use a technology that they're so used to using um, to get the material instead of the old traditional way of just writing with pencil and paper and, and, and listen to the, the things that, you know, I have to say. So it allows us also to utilize our small group instruction, um, you know, while the students are taking notes in class. It allows us to differentiate and to pull students to the back who are struggling to understand those concepts, whether we notice they've missed a couple questions in a row in the video, or um, whether it was a quiz or assessment they've taken you know, a day or two before, and we're able to go back and review concepts. Um, while the class is still taking notes and you know, giving instruction, we can pull those students to the back who are struggling to work with. Well, really, it's put two teachers in the classroom. Um, you know, when we assign an Ed Puzzle video and, and they're, they're listening to the podcast and, and taking notes or, or answering questions, it gives me the freedom to go and work with those small groups, just as Mr. Wilson said, and, and really give some small group instruction, give some individualized attention um, to help meet those students' needs because not every student's going to be struggling in, at the same point. So, you know, by us doing this, it really puts two teachers in the classroom but still only having one teacher in control. Um, and and I, I really have just seen a huge difference in, um, you know, my interactions with the students and also their engagement with Edpuzzle and the material that we're trying to learn. Right. It's also made it uh, more efficient on my job that now that we've made these videos, we, we will be able to reuse them year after year and to make improvements. So we have uh, basically a, a foundation set now. And so next year when we go back, we're able to... Um, you know, this topic didn't go well here. What do we do? What do we need to do different? So now we'll make adjustments accordingly. Um, and also, it, you know, standing up teaching for four hours straight sometimes can be tiring. Um, so now with the notes or, or the lecture on the video, we're able to do that individualized attention that he spoke about um, where you don't have to do the whole group instruction for one hour or four hours every single day. So you can actually break off and do the small group and instruction so it's not all on you for four hours straight.